Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I thought I'd make a quick guide on how to install Blue Sentinels, which is an anti a community made anti cheat protection for Dark Souls 3. Now this came up recently because of an, a new exploit that was discovered in Dark Souls 3. It's actually in all the games, Dark Souls Remaster, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring, which is the remote code execution exploit, RCE. And so Blue Sentinels was immediately updated and patched to be able to protect against this. And while the servers have been taken down and FromSoft is working on patching this bug it's still a good idea to get blue sentinels anyway because it will still protect you against things like item injects sending you to new game plus infinite death loops and just other sort of malicious hacks so let's get right into it and i'll show you how it's done so first you're going to want to go to nexus mods i'll here's the web link here but i'll provide it in the description below and this will take you to the version 1.3 of blue sentinels now for nexus mods you will need an account, um, but you can make a free account like I have. Then you want to just manually download this Blue Sentinels by Luke UA. And just do the slow download if you've got the free account like I do. Now just save the file and then just open up in your downloads and just uh, extract the files. So this here will be your version 1.3 Blue Sentinels. And it will have the README, which I suggest having a look through. And then the actual mod file itself, which is as input one underscore three dot LL, and then the Blue Sentinel preferences. Now, the next step, what you're going to want to do is go into your Steam, go to your library, right click on Dark. Oh, I should just point out first, you can see I don't have the mod here. All right, let's just get out of Dark Souls. Go to. Uh, man manage browse local files this will open up this window here with your game folder go into your game folder now what you want to do is get the preferences and the uh, the zimput.dll file and just paste them into your game folder now this is completely safe blue sentinels does not modify dark souls 3 code at, at all and then we will just launch the game. Okay, that beep just signifies that Blue Sentinels has been activated. And you'll see here, set Blue Sentinel 1.3 by Luke Hue. I'm, I really hope I'm saying that name wrong. Sorry if I got it wrong. And yep, so now Blue Sentinels is uh, successfully installed into the game. Well, not, you know, alongside the game, I should say. Um, now this is gonna not log in because the the, uh, the servers are down while from patches this from or Bandai I think it's Bandai who's actually uh, in charge of the servers so let me just uh, we'll go ahead and I'll just show you how I configure my uh, blue sentinel preferences so I'm just gonna quickly go through the blue sentinel preferences which is the any file that was one of the two files that you put into your Dark Souls 3 game folder. So some of these um, I've changed after installing it and I'm going to go through this all. So I'll have a look through this. This is all very good stuff and it's all explained in the readme as well. So global block list is going to automatically be set to one and I recommend keeping it number one. That's going to let uh, that's going to automatically block known malicious cheaters from in entering your game or letting you enter their game. Now, the local block list is normally set to 1, which means that it's on. I actually changed it to 0. All that means is that if you kick someone, if, it's set, if you've got it turned on, which means set to 1, if you kick someone, it's going to put them on the block list for that session. But then when you start a new session, you turn off your computer, it's a new day, you play again. Uh, that's going to be completely refreshed. Uh, so I don't find the local block list that important. Now the startup beep is automatically turned on. A lot of people turn that off because they don't like that beep when you start up Dark Souls 3. I do just to know, just so I know that Blue Sentinels is functioning. But the new session is going to be set. Playing a, a beep when the new session begins is going to be turned on. I turn that off because that's annoying. I don't want to have to hear a beep every time I'm getting invaded or invading. Um, and then cheater and glitcher beeps are going to be turned on. And I suggest you keep them turned on unless you have a particular reason why you don't want to be alerted when someone's cheating. Now for kicking, this is something I've set up 
after installing uh, how you kick cheaters from your games people who might be um, malicious or might be abusing glitches like Estus refill I've got them set to my number pad and you need to do it this way to get it set to your number pad because it's set differently when you initially install blue sentinels so to kick people from number uh, number one on your numpad it needs to be 0x61 numpad 2 is 0x62 and so on and so forth to kick slot 5 okay now most of this you won't need to touch deny block alts is going to be on by default and I suggest you keep that because a lot of people will have family share profiles to try to get around blocks and then down here it's going to display ping for other blue sentinel users i like to keep that on because if someone else is a blue sentinel user i can see the latency between us and it's a very accurate ping measurement and then all this is to do with like the um, information that's shown on your user interface i don't really touch any of this i'm just happy to leave it as it is some people like to change the colors or the the text size whatever and now flagging glitches um, which is a contentious issue is automatically set off I switch it on so you just put a one there instead of a zero because I don't want to deal with people who are infinite stamina fapping running away from me or Estus refilling I've had to put up with that in the past and it's a nightmare and then also making backup saves every time a new session begins is automatically set on with a one I change that to a zero because I manually back up my saves and I don't need the um, the mod to do that for me but if you don't back up your own saves I suggest leaving that as or as set to one because if something bad does happen you want to back up so you don't lose everything and this just goes beyond cheating if I recently had a friend who computer shit itself and he lost everything this way if you have a backup save you can and you store it externally you can reload that and you won't lose everything Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a like. Uh, if you find any new Dark Souls players, please share it to them. Show them how so they can ex install Blue Sentinels. It's extremely helpful um, at protecting the community. All right, thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.